and welcome to the Epri Current. My name is Samantha Gilman, one of your podcast hosts, and I'm joined by our other two hosts, Bill Florence and Nick Scheib. To start off, we're going to learn a little bit about who Epri is, and so I'm going to turn it over to my co-host, Nick. Hi. Epri has provided the energy industry with the expertise to make an energy future that is clean, reliable, affordable, resilient, and equitable for all. For 50 years, Epri has matched our independent, objective research to industry needs, driving greater certainty with cost-effective, efficient, customer-focused energy solutions. We are excited to connect with you in a new and exciting way podcasting. That's right. And you'll hear our tagline very often, uh, but together we're shaping the future of energy. So with that, let's hear a little bit about who we are and why we're at EPRI and excited to host this podcast for you. Um, Like I said, my name's Samantha. Um, I've been at EPRI for several years now. And the thing that makes me excited to be at Epri and to host this podcast with my two co-hosts is that we are doing work that will help us transition to the clean energy future and decarbonize our electric system. And that means that we're making the world a better place and that makes it more enjoyable to come to work every day. So, Bill, why don't you introduce yourself and a little bit why you're at EPRI? Hi, I'm Bill, and I've been with EPRI for about two years now. I'm really excited about this opportunity I have working at EPRI because EPRI is at the forefront of a lot of cutting-edge technology and R&D on a variety of issues, whether that's decarbonization, um, you know, electric vehicles, or all kinds of different issues like that. And so we're it's. There's a lot of work that's going on here, and we're excited to be able to share a lot of that work and uh, put our perspective on a lot of the the critical issues that are facing the energy energy industry this uh, uh, at this point in time. Hi, I'm Nick, and I've been at EPRI for two years. And the reason I really love working at EPRI is in the tagline, clean, reliable, affordable, resilient, and an equitable future for all. I think a lot of times when we look at the clean energy future, we know we have to decarbonize. We have to decarbonize, but we don't really think about how do we do that in a way that keeps the lights on for people that keeps it affordable and makes it possible for people to implement these strategies to decarbonize and also making it resilient to extreme weather events while also not leaving anyone behind. I totally agree, Nick. And that's one of the reasons why I'm excited to host this podcast with you too. This is not EPRI's first foray into the world of podcasting. EPRI did a podcast several years ago, but then stopped due to COVID uh, when everyone was scattered all over the place. But uh, we're back now because the timing seems right to share the expertise that our executives and our subject matter experts can bring to a lot of the the issues that are facing the energy, energy industry today. You'll be able to find our podcast at EPRI.com slash EPRI current and on every major podcasting platform, Spotify, Apple, Google, name you name them, we'll be there. That's right. We really look forward to sharing EPRI's latest research, insights from industry experts, and who knows what else. So join in next time. And that's it for us today. Bye. If you like today's show, we invite you to subscribe to our podcast. And feel free to share the podcast with your colleagues and friends. For more information about EPRI, please visit our website at www.epri.com. And don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter at EPRI News. Together, we are shaping the future of energy.